Hello everyone, so today I'm going to talk about Poisson distribution. But before that, um, I want you to learn how to identify whether a given distribution illustrates a Poisson process or not. Okay, so there are three conditions that must be satisfied in order for us to say that a given experiment illustrates a Poisson process. So the first condition is that the experiment consists of counting the number of times x an event occurs over a specified interval of time, area, or volume. So we're actually counting the number of occurrences for a given interval. It can be per day, it can be per hour, okay, or something like that. <clears throat> Second, the probability of the event occurring is the same for each interval. Okay. And then the third one, the number of occurrences in one interval is independent of the number of occurrences in other intervals. So we can say that if an event occurs, it does not affect the probability of another event occurring. Okay, because they are independent to one another. Okay. Now, if all the three criteria are met, okay, then we can now apply the Poisson distribution formula. So if x is the Poisson random variable with rate lambda greater than zero, then the probability mass function of x is probability of x is equals to lambda raised to x times e raised to negative lambda all over x factorial. Okay, so we can write a Poisson distribution using this notation x tilde PO for Poisson lambda. Okay. Now, let's analyze this um, given formula. Remember, this lambda, okay, the lambda here, okay, is actually the mean per interval, okay? So, we call, we call it the rate as well, okay? And then E here, okay, this E is the Euler's number. We also call it as the Napier constant. Okay. And we know for a fact that the Euler number has a value of 2.718. Okay, so when we use the formula, we substitute 2.718 for E. Okay, so that is the Euler's number. Okay. So let me show you um, an example on how to apply this formula. But before that, take note that the mean and the variance of a Poisson distribution is equals to lambda. Okay, so how are we going to derive this? You just use this formula, apply it in finding the expected value and also um, the variance, and it will give you this value. Okay, so let's proceed with the example. So the average number of homes sold by the Admiral Tea Company is two homes per day. What is the probability that exactly three homes will be sold tomorrow? Okay, so this is a Poisson distribution. As you can see, um, we have um, a number okay, specified per day, and that is two homes per day. Okay, so that two homes per day will be the value of our lambda. Okay, so what is the what is the probability that exactly three homes will be sold tomorrow? So that will be our x. Okay. So from here we can now apply our Poisson distribution formula. So that will be the probability of x equals to three is given by. Okay, so lambda raised to net um to x okay, sorry e raised to negative lambda all over x factorial but in this case our lambda is two so two raised to the value of x which is three e raised to negative lambda which is negative two all over x factorial which is three factorial okay so we can enter these values in our calculators. If you are using scientific calculator, you can just plug in E, okay, because there is a function dedicated for Euler number. Okay. 
Okay, so from here, we will get the value of approximately 0 0.18. Okay, so the probability that exactly C homes will be sold tomorrow is 0 0.18. Okay, so again, this one, you can use this by using scientific calculator, okay. Next. The mean number of typing errors in a document is 1.5 per page. Find the probability that on a page shows in a random, there are no mistakes and be more than two mistakes. Okay, so... The mean number of typing errors in document is 1.5 per page. So remember that lambda is also the mean per interval. So this will be the value of our lambda, which is 1.5. Okay. Since we already found the value of our lambda, so we can now solve for A. So the probability of getting no mistakes is the probability of obtaining the value of X equals to zero so from here um, we can now solve um, the probability of obtaining no mistakes using the Poisson distribution formula so the lambda is 1.5 so 1.5 raised to zero times e raised to negative 1.5 all over zero factorial okay take note okay just to um, remind you Okay, zero factorial is actually equals to one. Okay. So using calculator, what we have now is just e raised to negative 1.5 because this will be one. Zero factorial will also be one. So what will remain is just e raised to negative 1.5. Okay, so e raised to negative 1.5. is 0 0.223 okay so the probability of getting no mistakes okay is 0 0.223 okay let's have letter b the probability of obtaining more than two mistakes okay so the number is more than two are three four five and so on okay so in the Poisson distribution, there's no um, end point, actually, because um, as the random value increases, the probability actually um, becomes zero, okay? So it will be a challenge for us to list down all the numbers that are more than two. But what we can do is to use its complement, okay? And the complement of more than two is actually the number... Um, less than or equal to 2, okay? So to find the probability of um, getting more than 2 mistakes will be 1 minus the probability of getting mistakes less than or equal to 2, okay? So let's calculate the probability of x less than or equals to 2 first. So that will be probability of x equals to 0 plus probability of x equals to 1 plus probability of x equals to 2. So using the Poisson formula, so that will be um, 1.5. So already know the probability of obtaining 0. Okay, so that will be e raised to negative 1.5. Okay, next. Probability of obtaining one mistake, so that will be 1.5 raised to 1 times e raised to negative 1.5 all over 1 factorial plus. Probability of obtaining two mistakes, that will be um, 1.5 raised to 2 e raised to um, negative 1.5 all over 2 factorial. Okay, so adding all the values. Okay, so we can use calculator for this. So that will be 0 0.809. Okay. So to obtain the probability of x 
greater than 2, we just subtract 0 0.809 to 1. Okay? So that will be 1 minus 0 0.809. So that is equal to 0 0.1. So the probability of getting more than two mistakes will be 0 0.191, okay? So that's it. That's how you use um, a Poisson distribution formula. Okay, let's now proceed to another example. So a supplier of coating materials looks for flaws before selling the materials to customers. The number of flaws follows a Poisson distribution with rate 1.7 flaws per meter. So this 1.7 plus per meter will be the value of your lambda. Okay? So lambda is equals to 1.7. Okay, let's start solving for A. Find the probability of exactly three flaws in a one meter length of material. Okay. So to solve for A1, okay, we'll just follow the formula for Poisson distribution. So that will be probability that x is exactly equals to 3. So our lambda is 1.7. So 1.7 raised to x, which is 3, times e, okay, the Euler number, raised to negative lambda, which is negative 1.7, all over x factorial, which is t factorial. Okay. So solve this using calculator. So you will get 0 0.15. Okay. So the probability of of exactly three flaws in a one meter length of material is 0 0.15. Okay. Let's have another one. Oh, sorry. A2. Find the probability that at least one flaw in two meters of material. Okay, remember that in a Poisson distribution, okay, um, the number of occurrences is independent to one another. Okay, the number of occurrences in each event is independent of one another. So if we have two meters, then what we will expect is to have 3.4 flaws for two meters. Okay, so because that will be 1.7 plus 1.7. Okay, so our lambda for A2 will become 3.4. Okay, because we expect to have 1.7 plus per meter and our problem talks about 2 meters. So what you need to do is to multiply 1.7 by 2. So that will be 3.4. So we expect to have 3.4 in 2 meters of material. Okay, now, what we want to find is the probability of at least one flaw. Okay, so at least one uh, are the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and so on. Okay, so again, it is not practical to add all the probabilities from 1 to infinity. So what you can do is to apply the concept of complementary events. So from here, we can find the probability that x will be less than or equals to 1, sorry, greater than or equals to 1, is by subtracting the probability of obtaining 0 flaw to 1. Okay? Because the complement of at least 1 is 0. Okay. So, let's compute now the probability that x is equals to 0. So that will be 1.7 raised to 0 times e raised to negative 1.7 all over 0 factorial. So what will remain is just e raised to negative 1.7. And e raised to negative 1.7 is exactly 0 0.183. Okay. So the probability now of getting at least 1 will be 1 minus the probability of getting 0 mistake, which is 0 0.183. So that is 0 0.817. So that is the probability of at least 
one flow in two meters of material. Okay? So, for letter B, find the mean variance and standard deviation. So, remember that the mean or the expected value of um, a Poisson distribution is always equal to the value of the lambda. So, we can say that in letter B, okay, in letter B, the mean is equal to 1.7. Now, remember, standard deviation is the square root of the variance, right? So, the variance here is actually the value of the lambda. So, that will be the square root of 1.7. So, lambda will be equal to 1.303. Okay. So, that's it. That's how you calculate the mean and standard deviation for a Poisson distribution.